Hi everyone, this is Jackie from Bronx Bobbles. Today I'm going to be talking about my slide bracelets um, and other bracelets that are similar to slide bracelets. Today I'm also wearing my latest acquisition. This is uh, Asian Chinese um, reverse glass painted, reverse painted glass beads, um, prayer bracelet uh, necklace. I think it's amazing and gorgeous and I can't wait to show you um, a little bit more um, brace, um, similar uh, necklaces that I have in this family. So, but no, we're not here to talk about my Chinese necklace. We're here to talk about my um, slide braces. So let's get started. Here is my collection. I'm gonna get started with this one over here. This is a little cute petite one. This is by the maker Goldette. And um, it's pretty good representation of Goldette um, in that each of these are little slides and the slides were made popular after the watch fobs. And the watch fobs were made to be, to, to be worn on chains from your jacket or from, it used to be pinned on the side of women's dresses. And when the watches started to be worn on the wrist, they had no more use for these chained watches, you know, the, the pocket watches. And so what they did was they took the fob, this slider that was used to slide the, um, the, the watch chain and the watch and fob, um, and they made these fabulous bracelets. This is a representation of a, a reproduction rather of it. These are not, none of these are real slide bracelets, unfortunately, um, but they give you a good example. This one happens to be missing its um, chain catch. Um, and as I said, this is a gold debt. And as you can see, there's two um, holes that slide the bracelet. Um, oops. And it's also sliding out of my hand. Um, these the, the stones that are represented are turquoise, emerald or chrysophase, pearl, sapphire, uh, ruby, uh, lapis lazuli, and carnelian. And this is a fabulous bracelet. And here we have another Goldette representation of a slide bracelet. And I think these slide bracelets, um, I've seen them in three, three rows. So this was one row and this is the two row bracelet, both made from gold debt from the same um, company. And this is a little bit different in that the slides are a little bigger and um, they even have one here with a cameo, uh, cameo rather. Uh, and they're really, really beautiful and, and very nice to wear. So let's say for example, I might be able to wear all three of these. And this is how the three, uh, row slide would probably look like. That's fabulous, isn't that? Here's another representation of a slide bracelet, but it really isn't a bona fide slide. These are just soldered to one side. Um, this, uh, there is no maker. Oh yeah, this is a gold debt too. So all three of these bracelets are gold debt bracelets from the same uh, manufacturer. Uh, this is just a regular bracelet, but it's very reminiscent of a slide bracelet. What I love about this one is the critters, like the bee. I like anything with bees on it. I also like anything with birds and flowers. Um, this has a chamomile, and my favorite, um, this has a snake. Yesterday, I went to the thrift store, and I wanted to buy a bracelet that had a snake on it and I asked the girl to pull out of the um, sh the, the, the little show, show closet and um, she thought it was creepy and she couldn't do it. She had to ask somebody else to do it. So some people are not as not big fan as I am to um, critters. This bracelet here, let's see if there's a manufacturer mark on it and there isn't one. I thought, oh no, it is. I'm sorry. This is an art. I thought it was an art says it right here. Um, and this is also reminiscent of a slide bracelet. It's very delicate, very sweet. Um, the stones to me represent um, angel skin um, coral. 
I do have earrings that are made with angel skin. So um, that's what that looks like to me. This is what the back looks like. Okay, so it's a decent quality made bracelet. And I have worn this. This is what it looks like on the wrist. Here is another art bracelet. So these two are made from the same manufacturer. Um, and this one is also reminiscent of a slide bracelet. I say reminiscent because this one, um, they don't slide, but they do look like the ones that do. This is really more of what a traditional slide bracelet looks like. And it kind of looks the same to me at least. Um, this one has really pretty little motifs on it. In this case, you have the three leaf clover, you have a starburst, a fleur de lis, um, three uh, beautiful little delicate pearls. And look at that, that good lucky charm horseshoe. That's really fabulous. Um, and this has a Maltese cross. Again, another three pearls and a crescent moon made with um, um, tiny little turquoise and it's missing one stone. But this looks amazing on. This is what it would look like on. And if I were to put this one next to it, I think it's just gorgeous. Even if I were to do this, I imagine your hands your arms full of these types of bracelets. There was a time when I was obsessed with all these and that's how I accumulated um, so many of them. Let's see what this one says. This is another art. So I guess I have a collection of art. Um, once you have three in a collection, it's then called the Bonafide Collection. So here are the three art bracelets. And they actually look fabulous on, I would think, all together like that. Um, so this one, look at the back. The construction is pretty decent, it's heavy. I would say these are from the 50s, um, maybe even the 60s, with the pearls and the little seed turquoise. Um, it has a nice fold over clasp and Again, this is what it would look like if you had all three art bracelets. Oops, let's do that again. This is what it would look like. And I think that's fabulous, especially with this blue blouse that I'm wearing. Now, this one um, does not have um, a name brand but I think it's just beautiful it is missing a stone here little tiny seed pearl and a seed pearl here and I think you can get those seed pearls anyway so anywhere so um, I'm gonna start looking for them so I can uh, fix this bracelet up because you know it's just too precious to um, not be whole and if you sell it it does look better with it um, as long as you let them know that you did replace the stones now this bracelet the reason why i love it is it has this gorgeous little dangly piece here and this dangly piece is just stunning um it's like two little crests or family crests um and this is what it looks like in the front and in the back the front and the back and each of these um fixtures are done up on both sides again these two are missing tiny stones with this being a, a little crest. Um, and then you have these amazing beads all throughout. Um, and this looks good. Again, I like stacking them. I think that's how they look best, is when they're stacked. So imagine, if you will. Isn't that fabulous? I think that's gorgeous. So let's take this one off. Let's go on to the next. Here's another, um, I guess it's more like a charm um, bracelet. And this one uh, does not have a marking. And unfortunately, all the stones in the back of this four leaf clover is gone, uh, which is sad. But these crests, look at this. It has these beautiful um, art stones on, on here. And the back is just as beautiful as the front. In fact, I, 
I, I can't tell you which I like best, the back or the front. This one um, is what a fob looks like, a, a metal intaglia fob. And I believe that's a replacement. So this bracelet, I don't think it's a whole bracelet if I were to guess. I think that this piece here was a replacement and it's not a bad replacement. I still would wear this. Um, so here this is, uh, look at a family crest. And again, all of these and are done up just as beautiful in the back as they are in the front, except this one is missing some stones, which can be replaced. And this is a replacement piece. Now, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Uh, it kind of reminds me of those Har bracelets, but this one is not marked at all. Um, the serpents, there's these serpents or dragons, if you will. Um, and this one is clasping a pearl in its mouth with the amethyst and um, I guess a, a coral with a beautiful, beautiful green stone. Um, each of these stones, these are like a dragon's eggs, uh, these stones here. Um, and this is just fabulous on. Um, it's one of those bracelets you have to be careful with because it could catch and some of the stones could be lost because of it. And um, I'm looking at it real quickly and it doesn't look like any of the stones are missing, which is a fabulous thing. So I'm glad that this one's intact. I love this bracelet so much that I ended up buying not one, but two. These are two of the same bracelets. So let's pick up this one here. This one is, um, let's see if I have a, a name on these. Oh, this is an art bracelet. Who knew I had so many art bracelets? And now I have to go and do my research on art, the company, A-R-T, um, because I have a lot of their bracelets and I didn't even know. Um, let's see if I can pick up. This is one of the, their bracelets. They're really beautiful. So if anybody wants to start collecting art bracelets, this is gonna give you an idea of what the art bracelets look like. And I think they're amazing and fabulous. But this truly is one of my favorite bracelets. Um, and this bracelet has, um, this is a true slider. Well, I shouldn't say true because the slider would have extended past it would extend it all the way through but instead it just connects the the, the two um plates um and even if you look on the side of the bracelets it's done up so that makes this a fabulous piece um if you want to compare this one to this one as an example whereas this one is plain this one is, is, is done up really, really nice. Gorgeous, gorgeous stones, a lot of art stones in here. I can see one stone being missing here, but easily replaced. That's the problem with these stones that are set with glue. Um, after a while, and these were made perhaps in the 50s, um, this one lost its stone here. Um, the stones can get lost. The good thing is I have the other to, to, to figure out what stone I need to put. So I need to replace that with a green stone and this one with a sapphire color stone. But to be honest with you, I bet you I can replace it with anything, you know? But look at how gorgeous this bracelet is. I think it's stunning. You know, I would probably put one that way and the other one going the other direction. And that's what it would look like. It's very um, heavy and, and just beautiful. Okay, so this is a, a slider, a true slider. And these would have been the fobs. And this one is Renard, Ray, Ray Nod, R-E-I-N-A-D. That's what this one is here. And it's just, this is really beautiful. The more I look at it, the more I realize this is a stunning piece. Um, and although the side is not finished, the front is, and this has an Asian look to it. And look at the back. So if you really wanted to wear it like this, the back is just as beautiful as the front. These stones are amazing. So you have here these little um, beads. And look at this. This is... This stone here is 
red with that blue iridescence to it. And there's a special name for this stone. This stone here is missing, but I can replace that. Now look at how beautiful that stone is. And then you have this one. This is, you can't really tell, but it's a scarab. This one is an emerald. And look at the colors on these, it's just fabulous. This is a cabochon, a uh, ruby cabochon. And this is a moonstone. And these are all vintage, beautiful, beautiful pieces of stones. Here is another scarab. Um, and to me, I don't know, there's uh, an Asian influence on some of these, Japanese even probably. Um, but the scarab is Egyptian. So you have the melding of different cultures in here, I would say. Look how beautiful this blue sapphire cabochon and look how it's set. Look at the, the setting on that. Uh, here we go, sorry, I'm looking at it and I'm not pointing at the camera. <laughs> Um, and look at that amazing art glass stone. That is amazing. It's almost like a lava um, stone. Um, I would say, you know, um, that the it's, you know, um, English because of the slide. And then you have the Egyptian uh, influence. And then you have some of the Asian, uh, including Chinese and Japanese. I, that's what I would say if I had to guess. But this is what it would look like on. Stunning, isn't it? Here is another slider. And the interesting thing about this slider, and this is, the, the chain goes all the way through. This is another Renaud. Um, and the company is spelled R-E-I-N-A-D. Okay, there's something else on here, something New York. So this is a New York based company, I would say. I have to do my research on it. But what's interesting about this slider is that when you put the catch through, let's see if I can do this on my own. <laughs> um, well, I can't. There's this dangle piece. It sort of dangles. Um, let me see if I can do it this way. So you wear the bracelet like this and it has this amazing catch to help so you don't lose your bracelet, which is very much appreciated. And then this thing hangs from the side. So like this other bracelet here that has like a side piece, this one has this one. And it has, if you can see, a really interesting design. Almost, if you will, see if I can get that done like a devil motif. So that's interesting. Here is another slide bracelet. This one is no name brand. Again, it has these fabulous stones. Um, and this one has a four leaf clover, a red, uh, rose, meshing, and another like daisy type flower. And this one will look like this. Here is a beautiful, this was, at one time, this was like my most favorite, favorite, favorite piece. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it looks like this on. This is from Sweet Romance. And these are huge. These are like an inch and a half to two, two I guess an inch and a half big. And this is a statement piece. I was always afraid to wear it because I didn't want to lose any of the stones in it. And inside is like a glass covering with these perfume bottles, uh, labels in French. So this is a, 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 an ode to a French perfume bottle bracelet from Sweet Romance. Just, I think it's just stunning. The colors on it, the, the wearability. I wear this, I wore it to work. So it didn't matter to me, you know? that it was big and gaudy. That's who I am. And then it has enameling over here, enameling over there, and enameling. So you got three panels of enameling and uh, three panels of the perfume, uh, French perfume bottles. Beautiful. These are gorgeous, gorgeous scarab bracelets. 
They're made, they're heavy, they're huge, they're big. Um, they're very, very similar to each other. But one has one, two, three, four, five scarabs. The other one has one, two, three, four, five, six. And of course, you're going to want the one with more scarabs on it. Scarabs are an Egyptian motif. And when King Tuck's um, tomb was open in the 30s, it developed a craze for Egyptian, um, anything Egyptian, including Egyptian jewelry. And I, I just love, and I have uh, uh, more scarab bracelets, smaller. If I can find them, I'll probably put them in with this this uh this grouping here. The difference between this scarab bracelet and this one is this beautiful, beautiful amethyst. And I wouldn't want to miss out on this amethyst. Um, and they're very similar quality, but I would probably say this was a step up. Not only because of the six scarabs, but because just the quality, quality is nice. Um, they're about an inch and a half big, these scarabs, and they're made of glass. And this one, let's go to this one, because this has uh, the extra amethyst. You have the onyx. You have uh, this, I, I, don't, I guess, I don't know what you would call that, because that's a beautiful blue. You have the amethyst. You have um, the red. Sometimes I've seen these in carnelian. They have the rose quartz. And you have the uh, chrysophase. And if you see the rose quartz, you can tell that that's an actual quartz stone. The back has these Egyptian etched writings, but I couldn't tell you what it is. It's just beautiful. And this would look great stacked together like that. I had one more because I, I like to wear things in threes. So if I can find that smaller bracelet, I'd probably wear it with this. Isn't that beautiful? These two are um, book, book chain pieces. And they're not marked, but I can tell you right now that these are high, high quality bracelets. Okay? Look at the back, the way they're constructed. They're very similar to each other. But this one has just these fabulous, fabulous um like etch etching and this one has an etching but it's a little bit more simple this this etching has little swirls and, and flowers and rosettes and so this is just beautiful um these two oh my god i just think they're stunning this one here let's pick this one up first this one here is like a maltese cross and each and every one of these has a, so much detail on the cross. It's unbelievable. This one lost a stone, and I believe this is a replacement stone. Um, this one looks like it might be a replacement. So these stones are easy to lose, which is unfortunate. And there's like a little stone, um, pearl rather, missing there. So as you can see, my, um, my uh, vintage glued on stones don't really do well and that's why i always like to to buy a prong set but in a case like this it's just too stunning to pass up for something like that you just replace the stones um and if you're planning on selling it you just let the people know that what you did i don't plan to sell these on my lifetime at least not that i you know would think um and so i replaced the stones for me now look at these crescents each of them have a different motif. So this crescent here has an intaglia. Um, it's like a jade. This one has a knight with his um, hatchet. Here's another intaglia. Looks like Julius Caesar in a shield. Here's another warrior with his... Uh, he has, I guess, a knife on one hand and um, a long sword on the other. This is another um, more Romanesque. Um, and then this one is um, a, uh, a lion. Beautiful. And imagine, if you will, these two bracelets together worn like that. That's pretty, is it? All right, so this one here I can't even, there's no name brand to this. 
It's con it's made from brass. Um, some of it is starting to tarnish, but that's actually kind of gives it a little bit of its beauty. Each of these are different colored glass and really pretty to wear. Um, I replaced this here. This is the way it should look. And instead, I just put a regular, um, because this it broke and I couldn't find it and I wanted to wear it. And so I replaced it. And so that's what you do. Save your jewelry, you know? And this is, um, it's almost a charm bracelet. And a friend of mine gave me this. And um, these charm bracelets are so beautiful. Um, and um, you have the cinnabar here, the lapis azul here, pearl here, clover here, and an intaglia heart there. Oh, and one last oval opal. And that's really, really sweet. And it looks like this on. Just a really, real pretty piece. These earrings I recently bought. These are gold debt. And I bought them because um, I'm not really into cameos anymore. But because I had that gold debt with the cameo, I figured these would go good with it. So I kept them together. Last I'll show you is this bracelet. This is... Um, Okay, there's no name brand on this bracelet, but here you have a medallion called Villa Banfi, and this is a villa, a wine villa in um, in Italy, and I used to work for the wine importers of this brand, and so um, I used to wear this bracelet to work, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed um, the video as much as I did making it. And I'll be showing you more of these types of videos. I have some ideas that I'm brewing up in my mind. And as I get more and more comfortable doing these videos, I'd be happy to share them with you. And peace out. Adios.